Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the miscellaneous series. Today we will talk about general equation which is available under the umbrella of mathematics module of ComSol. With general equation we can solve differential equation which is, which is having only time dependency but no space dependency. That means time dependent equations like we have taken an example of first order chemical reaction kinetics. A, uh, we know that first order chemical reaction kinetics follow this particular equation that is minus dCa dt is equal to K into Ca where K is the reaction rate constant. With this particular example, with this differential equation, we will show in ComSol how to utilize general equation to solve this first order reaction kinetics problem. So before we proceed with this first order reaction kinetics, we have analytically solve this particular equation so this is the typical form of the first order rate uh, decay and uh, taking this k into ca in one side we are getting this particular form that is dca dt plus k into ca is equal to zero now we have actually tried to divide the variables that means we just multiply dt with kca so minus dCa becomes K into Ca into dt then separation of variables that means Ca is coming with the dCa term uh, that gives minus dCa by Ca and in the right hand side K into dt remains then we take integration of that in both the sides we get dCa by Ca integration would be ln Ca and dt has a integration of t so uh, overall thing is becoming minus ln ca is equal to kt plus c here c is the constant of integration now we need a boundary condition to get the value of c we can plug in the value of c there and we can get the solution of this particular differential equation so the boundary condition is at t equal to 0 we have certain initial concentration of the component that is denoted as c a 0 we put this particular boundary condition this, this is not a boundary condition we should call it a, an initial condition because it is time dependent problem so this is not exactly boundary condition this is initial condition at t equal to 0 c a equal to c a 0 so uh, from there uh, the constant comes uh, as minus ln c a 0 now we put this value of c in this particular equation we get ln c a minus ln c a is equal to k t minus ln c a 0. Now after manipulating mathematical manipulations or arranging simplification we get ln c a by c a 0 is equal to minus k t that gives c a equal to c a 0 exponential minus k t that means the reaction decays exponentially and we will get an exponential decay curve. So this particular equation if we want to solve it by ComSol, I have already solved it but I will demonstrate it again with you. That's why we go to new window then click on model wizard and it's a zero dimensional problem. So we click on 0D then under mathematics module if I expand it we get ODEs. You can say this is GE general or global ODEs. Now it's, it's known as global ODs or we also call it general equation. Now we click on study, it's a time dependent one. So we choose time dependent study. So general equation has been added. Now we look at the expression of this particular equation. You can see the equation is defined such a way function of u first derivative of u, second derivative of u and t is equal to 0. Now we want to correlate this equation with the first order reaction decay equation. That means the equation looks like this but we have to express the equation in a form where the right hand side term would be 0 and in the left hand side we may have c, we may have for the variable, first derivative of the variable, second derivative of the variable and the time. So we try to express in this form that is dCa dt plus k into Ca is equal to 0. Now in this ComSol expression we have to write this particular form here. So the variable name is say we keep it u. Now 
let's say we need to define the parameters the k value is required say the k value is say 20 cent uh, say 1 by second the rate constant first order rate constant unit is 1 by second so we put certain arbitrary value for the k now we go to general equation form so in the left hand side what we have we have dca dt that means first order derivative of the parameter ca and k into ca so ca we have expressed as u so first order derivative would be ut so the expression ut means time derivative of u plus k into here ca is u so we write k into u so this way we define it now you can see there is some uh, unit mismatch because we have not defined the unit for this u so here we can change the unit say we have a unit of mass by volume so say the unit would be kg per meter cube this is the unit of u and this is the source unit means each term say dca dt it has a unit of dca dt means kg it would be kg per meter cube by second so here it would be kg per within parenthesis meter cube into second so once we define it you can see there is no yellow error so we have defined the units perfectly now it is taking the absolute form of general equation now coming to the bound uh, not boundary condition initial condition so here we know the initial condition is uh, at time equal to 0 the concentration is c0 so here we write something u0 say u0 is having a value of 10 kg per meter cube we are putting some arbitrary value just for the learning purpose so this u0 we can define here say we define here u0 so this is a first order time derivative equation we need one initial condition so that initial condition is expressed here if we click here you can see the name of the variable is u the overall function or equation is ut plus k into u initial value is given so we have defined the equations which is this particular equation and we have also defined this particular initial condition at this particular point now it would have it could have been a second order differential equation if uh, that is the case then we also need to define the second order time derivative and in that case another condition time dependent condition is to be defined and that is why all those boxes are given so this particular term is already done let us define the time scale in the order of reaction time say we keep it a small value 0 0.001 second interval and now we go say up to one second only now we click on compute we can see this is the exponential decay curve for this particular ca so we can actually correlate it with this analytical expression so ca starts with the concentration ca0 if you give t equal to 0 this term become 1 so at t equal to 0 ca equal to ca0 here also you can see we have kept ca0 or u0 equal to 10 so it is starting from 10 and as the time progresses if you can see here when t equal to infinite this term becomes 0 so ca becomes ca0 so you can see here this particular expression is touching the axis 0 at a larger time which is mathematically t equal to infinite so we have actually utilized global equation or general equation of formsol multiphysics to solve a time dependent problem and this particular global equation is very useful if you have a time dependent problem in your uh, in your simulation you can take separate this global ODE separately you can solve for that particular time dependent equation and you can use this particular solution for your coupled problem i hope this video would be helping you if so kindly share our videos thank you